Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Insider Financial Talks Penny Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today. I am the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com, and today we are going to be, co be covering four hot penny stocks, ZOM, SNDL, ENZC, and OPTI. But before we get into that, we have a few housekeeping issues. We have no business relationship with any company whose stock is mentioned in this video. Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors, and this video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. This video is meant for informational and educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice. With that out of the way, uh, remember to go over and smash that thumbs up button. Uh, hit the red subscribe button for uh, to get on to get notified when we go live with a new video. There's also the the little bell there that gives you uh, real time alerts uh, when we're going live. Also, go over to signup.insiderfinancial.com. This is where our subscribers get first look at stocks we are going to be covering. Stocks like NEO, MMMEDF, ENZC, which we're going to talk about in today's video, and TSNP. With that out of the way, let's dive right in. Uh, if the first Trading, if the first few trading days of 2021 are a sign of things to come, uh, it's going to be a big year. Uh, traders and investors are going to make a lot of money. Uh, ZOM, uh, Zometica, Zomedia, uh, Sundial Growers, Enzo Lytics, and Optech International are all running. Um, we always uh, like to begin our videos. We talk a little bit about you know how to trade penny stocks. Uh, you know, it's important that when it comes to trading penny stocks, you understand it's not the same as trading blue chips. Um, you know, as we have stressed repeatedly to our subscribers, the key to trading penny stocks is to find momentum before it happens and then be patient. It's also important to own a portfolio of penny stocks. You know, as many as 10 to 20, this way you are uh, diversified. Um, you want to approach penny stocks like you're at like an, a venture capitalist, uh, there are going to be some stocks that are going to go to zero, but you're going to have others like uh, if you catch a TSNP or an ENZC, those are going to give you 40, 50, 60, 100 times your, your investment, which more than makes up for any of your losers. So uh, remember that investing in penny stocks is speculative and you want to take a long-term approach and be patient. Um, we are not day traders. Uh, you know, if that's what you're looking to do, we, uh, we recommend the folks over at True Trading Group. Uh, there's a link over there. They do a lot of day trading, a lot of options. Uh, the head trader, Mike Edward, he's, uh, was a former hedge fund trader. He's got a ton of experience. Uh, the Wolf of Weed Street, he's been around a long time, uh, really knows his stuff, especially when it comes to marijuana stocks. So we really recommend, uh, you know, checking them out if that's what you're looking to, uh, to day trade. Um, you know, and then when it comes to, you know, trading penny stocks, you have OTC penny stocks and, and NASDAQ penny stocks. And, you know, understand that there's a bull market somewhere, um, and this is why it's important for penny stock investors to trade both OTC and NASDAQ or NYSE penny stocks. Um, there's always opportunities, and that's why it's important to give yourself the flexibility. Uh, we hate when investors get pigeonholed into a corner and say, oh, I only trade NASDAQ or I only trade uh, uh, big boards. Uh, guys, trade both. You know, it's all about making money. It's not about bragging to your friends, I'm an OTC trader, I'm a big board trader. No, it's all about making money and at the end of the year, what your P&L was like. Uh, you know, last year for the first half of 2020, you know, it was much more profitable to trade the, the NASDAQ penny stocks than OTC. 
Um, this is where we were positioned and where we got our subscribers uh, into, into runners like SRNE, uh, NEO, INO, IBIO, uh, Workhorse, and uh, many others. Um, and then once the summer came, you know, many of the COVID runners, they had failed to gather to find any more momentum. You know, SRNE, INO, many of the testing plays, uh, they had lost their momentum. Uh, and then, you know, we had pivoted to OTC and OTC uh, the last half of uh, 2020. If you weren't trading OTC, you missed out. I mean, it was unreal, the runners. I mean, TSNP, we got our subscribers in at triple zero eight. It ran to as high as almost 35 cents. I mean, that means if you threw a thousand bucks in, you know, at one point you were up over almost 350 grand. I mean, it was just unreal the amount of money that was made in uh, in TSNP. And uh, for those that are watching and, you know, had you subscribed and caught that move, congratulations. But this year, you know, to start 2021, we're seeing both OTC and NASDAQ running. And particularly, uh, you know, Bitcoin, it took a big dump yesterday. But, you know, to kick, to kick things off, we saw crypto plays making huge moves. And, uh, you know, with Joe Biden coming into the White House, Democrats taking control of the Senate, uh, we see cannabis and green energy plays uh, remaining strong this year. So those are two sectors you want to be, be positioned. But uh, as we move on here, uh, let's get started here and talk about uh, hot penny stock number one, ZOM. Uh, it's Zometica. I apologize. I had missed the C in the article. It's Zometica, not Zomedia. So I will go back and, and correct that. Uh, but you look here, and this has just been an incredible runner. It started in November at six cents, uh, and uh, yesterday it ran to a dollar. Um, and it really has lit on fire uh, for those of you if you didn't get in early, but if you just got in. Uh, you know, to start the year, it's been uh, uh, really running since January 4th when uh, the new year, new trading year kicked off. Uh, it's up just 300% since then. Uh, we think this one has a lot more room to run as 8% as of the float is short. And we're getting uh, commercialization, com commercialization of Truforma. Uh, what we read that they're saying that they think that some people think that's going to happen in March. Um, what happened on January 1st, uh, Robert Cohen, who was the interim CEO, he was named permanent CEO. Uh, he brings more than 30 years of executive leadership and operations experience. He's well experienced in the medical device, biotech, and pharma industries. Um, he's been involved with three multi-billion dollar medical technology companies, and he's got a successful track record in building early stage companies and along with developing and launching a series of medical device and biotechnology products. Uh, Chairman Jeffrey Rowe, he commented over the past six months, uh, we've enjoyed collaborating with Rob. Uh, the board is excited. Uh, he's, he's accepted the CEO position. Uh, his successful track record in launching medical devices is perfectly aligned for Zometica's needs as we complete the, tr the development of our true format platform and achieve commercial launch. Um, board and employees are excited. Uh, ZOM has over 70 patents, and it's in one of the hottest market sectors, pets. Uh, you know, more importantly, uh, you know, ZOM, ZOM, it focuses on the unmet needs of clinical veterinarians. And uh, we believe ZOM uh, is going to be this year's Chewy. Uh, if you look at what happened uh, uh, last year, Chewy, the online uh, e-commerce pet company, uh, this is just was a tremendous runner. It dipped down to uh, 20 in March. Uh, with the, That was the low on the... Uh, uh, the COVID dip, uh, and then ran as high as to 110. So uh, we think that uh, pets is, is a sector you want to be in, and ZOM is one great way to play it. Moving on to a hot penny stock number two, this is SNDL. This is a cannabis play. Uh, and uh, even though it, it's, it's, it's up 50% since Gen 1, but it's still down big from its IPO. It had an IPO in 2019. You see it there. It was just uh, above uh, almost 13 bucks, and it's just been a steady uh, uh, downtrend ever since. Uh, we see SNDL as, as extremely undervalued and a great turnaround play here. Uh, the, 
particularly because the company has no debt and 52 million uh, Canadian dollars in cash. Uh, so this one we think is a, is a great turnaround play. You see the big volume picking up here. Um, and uh, we think that uh, you know the retail investors have been accumulating this. It's very popular on stock twits, and uh, we think this one has plenty of room to run. Uh, it's got a lot of things. It's been been putting out press releases that that we really like. Uh, you know, as we've stressed to uh, our, our readers, subscribers. Um, Press releases are so important when it comes to penny stocks. Uh, PRs is really juices the market, and uh, SNDL has been uh, putting them out, and uh, this really helps uh, keep a bid in the stock. Uh, they just acquired a special purpose vehicle, uh, which owns Canadian dollars, 58.9 million of the principal amount of senior secured debt of Zen Zenabis Investments, a su subsidiary of Zenabis Global. Uh, according to the senior loan terms, Zenabis will, will also pay Sundial a royalty based on quarterly sales revenue from its medical, recreational, and wholesale, wholesale cannabis lines. Uh, last month, uh, SNDL inked a license agreement with Simply Solventless Concentrates for the processing and manufacturing of a suite of solventless cannabis con concentrates products uh, by Sundial in, in its Rocky View facility. Um, under this agreement, SSC will receive a royalty uh, and it also pay Sundial a monthly administration fee and will supply the non-cannabis materials to produce the concentrates. Uh, they're also uh, in talks about selling the Rocky View asset for $5 million post-completion. Um, SSC products will be uh, in store in uh, the second quarter of this year. Going back to November, Sundial, they announced a, a partnership with Chocolat to launch a cannabis-infused con confectionery brand. Uh, this allowed Sundial to expand into the edibles segment. Uh, they expect the scale to the, across Canada, beginning in the Alberta market. Uh, and then just this week, uh, SNDL launched a line of premium concentrate under its top leaf brand. So, you know, it's it's really making a lot of moves here. And, uh, you know, this is what we like, uh, as we say here. You know, they have many irons in the fire, and the stock remains cheap with a current market cap of just $542 million with no debt and $52 million in cash. Uh, we also, we don't expect SNDL to remain this cheap for long. Uh, once S Sundial eliminated its debt, the company has dressed itself up for a suitor, and we see it as a likely takeover candidate. Uh, especially then once, uh, you know, with Biden coming in, uh, we expect uh, the MORE Act to get uh, signed into uh as legislation, uh, and we also expect federal legalization of marijuana. Uh, this will allow players like uh, Sundial to uh, uh, come into the U.S. market. So we see the whole sector as being uh, as getting a bid, and uh, Sundial is one that uh, is uh, is a must own in the sector. Uh, moving on, uh, hot penny stock number three. This has been a tremendous reader for for us and our subscribers. Um, our first article uh, came out on uh, October sixth, um, and we talked about what was going on uh, with the company there. Uh, if you had missed our alert, even in a, had you got in on October sixth, it was just uh, uh, just over one uh, a penny a share. Um, and this has now run to ten cents. So uh, this has been a, a tremendous run, uh, runner. Uh, they're making all the right moves here as well. Um, they they just hired a, an auditing firm to uh, conduct the complete the year end financials. Um, they're covering uh, that will cover the 2019 and 2020 calendar years. Uh, this will get the yield sign removed, and this will further boost the share price. Uh, they're also working with OTC Markets Compliance Department to uh, get completely compliant, and uh, we uh, we really like this move. This will allow them to uplist. Um, and uh, in addition, the first tranche of additional funding has been received, um, and also they have the third tranche coming from outside investors. Uh, will bring to new, total new funding uh, to one point three million. Um, as Charles Cotropia, CEO, said, we are excited about working with our new auditors and achieving fully reporting status. Uh, the company is focusing on several funds, fronts uh, in terms of administratively. Um, 
one of the top priorities is finalizing necessary steps for completing the permitting process for ITV slash one, uh, dash one HIV AIDS therapeutic in Bulgaria. They have received pro proposals from FDA approved manufacturers to produce the quantities necessary for such certification and they're reviewing those right now. Uh, the lab at Texas A&M meets the exact needs for completing development of additional monoclonal antibodies for treatment of the HIV and SARS-CoV-2 viruses. So uh, uh, we're gonna include links in the description. Uh, I'm not gonna get into it too much here. We've also done another video on ENZC, uh, which you can watch. Uh, just go to Insider, um, Find our channel, click on the videos, and you can see uh, all everything that we've covered. And there's uh, an ENZ, ENZC article there, uh, video, uh, which we highly recommend uh, you talk about. So it's uh, Insider Financial Talks, Penny Stocks, and Enzo Lytic. So uh, that's a, definitely a must watch if you're invested in ENZC. Uh, we have the ENZC as a number of upcoming catalysts that we think can keep the momentum going. Uh, number one, getting all filings current. Uh, that PR will, will help the stock. Uh, further updates from Texas A&M, update on GMP production, and IND submission. Uh, these are the near-term catalysts we're expecting. Uh, anything new from the company would be an added bonus. Um, and, uh, you know, just to sum it up, you know, Take a look at our, our past two articles. It'll explain more on the, why we really like the ENZC and Bioclonotics uh, deal. Lastly is Opti. Um, we said that Opti was a smart bet when shares were trading just uh, two and a half cents. Uh, and... Um, since then, we came out with another article, and we said that Opti was heading uh, towards a nickel, dime, and then quarters. So uh, here's the, the first article. was on, uh, on September 25th, the smart COVID-19 bet, and then uh, we talked about nickels, dimes, quarters, dollars. So uh, we've, uh, we've passed the nickel. We've passed the dime. Uh, quarter is next for uh, Opti. And... Um, one of the things that we really like about Opti is is it's a real solid play on the COVID-19 pandemic that that just seems to there's no end in sight. Yes, we know there's the vaccines that are that are going to be coming into play, but you know, the vaccine rollout is extremely slow and you know, over 300 million Americans are going to need to receive two doses, uh, two shots of the vaccine. So, this is going to take a long time. And, uh, you know, PPE company, which is what uh, Op Opti is, is a great way to play it. And, uh, you know, it's got Dr. Drew involved. And, uh, you know, Dr. Drew said, uh, I'm so very privileged to work with Roger and Optic International. Um, Optic products not only respond to this market demand, but they have led the consumer by creating the highest quality, quality technologies. I do not leave home without the Optic UVC I1. The design is astonishing. It is an ergonomic and sturdy instrument that can truly call itself the iPhone of the product space. Uh, the Optic I1 reliably de destroys pathogens. The instrument fits comfortably in my pocket and in my hand. I look forward to bringing Optic's technology to the public to support health maintenance and hopefully reduce the, the impact of viral and bacterial pathogens. So, uh, we have uh, discussed uh, the Opti's products here in our uh, previous article, so uh, definitely uh, go and check these out. Uh, it's, uh, it's quite unique, and it allows uh, you to, when you're out, to sterilize surfaces. Um, Opti was one of the biggest runners in 2020. If you look back at... Uh, you know, this was just in the uh, triple zeros uh, uh, last year, um, and then it started the run in June and uh, just delivered big returns. Uh, we always get these spikes. You get a retracement, uh, and, uh, you know, when you get runners like this, uh, there's always that retracement. That's why uh, if you miss these types of, you know, if you miss the initial move, uh, we recommend don't go chasing it. Wait for it to retrace. Look to buy the dip, uh, and uh, you know it's it's making its uh, run again. Um, and you know, 
it's important that uh, you know when, when you trade uh, pennies, as we said, you know it's important that there's PRs. When you got a celebrity like Dr. Drew involved, that really helps. Um, Opti has really found a, a, a big following, um, and you know that definitely uh, helps uh, helps the stock price. Um, sum it all up, you know these four penny stocks are hot right now. Um, you know, guys, for those of you newbies, you know, there's always opportunities in penny stocks. Uh, we're always looking. Um, you know, it's our job to find the bull markets. Um, we have uh, identify. We sift through hundreds of stocks every week. Um, we got um, right now two or three on our radar. Um, we're getting ready to do a new alert soon, uh, probably uh, Wednesday or Thursday. So uh, make sure you are signed up at signup.insiderfinancial.com to get in on this alert. Um, we don't post on social media. Um, this is where you know our subscribers is the only way to get the, the early look. Um, you can sign up with your email. Um, after you sign up with your email, there's a landing page to uh, enter your SM, your mobile number for SMS alerts. This only works for U.S. numbers. Um, guys, it's not our fault. It's our service provider. They only allow U.S. numbers. Uh, it is not a requirement to complete your sign up. Uh, so if you are overseas, don't worry. After you enter your email and you uh, hit that page, it's not required that you confirm. Uh, you're all set. You will get the welcome email. So uh, don't panic. Um, and uh, then a few weeks later, we always go come uh, out with uh, an article for our regular readers. So uh, subscribers get the first look. Regular readers uh, get find out about it a few weeks later. So um, you know, remember, you know, it's important. You know, all it takes is one or two uh, to become a ZOM, ENZC, or an Opti, and uh, you've crushed the market indices for the year. Um, and, you know, as we say, you know, guys that say, oh, stay away from penny stocks, you know, they have no clue what they're doing. You know, if you are diversified, uh, not too heavy uh, into one or two penny stocks, you will be fine. Uh, you know, here, I'll give you a great story. You know, uh, I know uh, one uh, great trader, he recounted this. He's a gold trader. He gave a friend of his uh, two stocks. Um, his friend bought only one, and the one he his friend bought went to zero. The stock his friend didn't buy, that went up uh, 20-fold. So, uh, you know, that's where it's important to approach it like the, the, invent, the, the venture capitalist own both. One will work, one won't. The one that, that, that goes to zero, you lose some money, but the one that goes up 20-fold, you make a killing on. So, uh, you know, if you have that mindset... Uh, and, and, and approach the markets like that, you will do very, very well. Uh, 2020 was a huge year for us and our subscribers. Uh, 2021 has kicked off with a bang. Uh, we like what we're seeing, and uh, we there's no shortage of uh, runners on uh, on both the OTC and the NASDAQ and NS, NYSE when it comes to pennies. So, uh, you know, sign up. Get on board. Uh, we think this is going to be a big year, and uh, we're excited for everyone involved. So um, with that being said, uh, remember, uh, stay safe with COVID, wear a mask, social distance, protect your loved ones, and uh, we will get through this, and uh, we think this will be a, a, a big year for everyone uh involved. So uh, thanks again, folks, and we'll be coming to you live soon with, uh, with a new video. Thanks a lot and chat soon. Bye.